Hey there everyone, how you doing? My name is Nick, and this is your Indie Gamer News for February 26th, 2016. I want to talk about a homegrown company and a homegrown game that came out this week. I'm uh, from Boston, uh, well I, I work in the Boston area and I live in the Boston area. And this week, a company called The Molasses Flood had the full release of their game called Flame in the Flood. They're from Cambridge. I have to plug them. You gotta, you gotta promote your local companies, right? So The Flame in the Flood is a post-apocalyptic survival game where you, as a young girl, and your dog must go down the river and you must find supplies to survive and get to the end. There actually is an end, I believe. And at the end, maybe you can find redemption and salvation and all that good stuff, or you might just die. You might just die. I've actually been playing this for a little while on Early Access, but I didn't think it was so cohesive with my channel where I think it would work as a series. So I just really haven't put up any gameplay of it. But I have wasted some good hours in it, and it is fun. It's just not normally the type of thing I play on my channel. If I was going to play any survival game on my channel, it would probably be Don't Starve, because that game just, it just like gets me. I don't know, I, it, 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 it touches my inner 14-year-old emo or something. I don't know. Anyway, Flame of the Flood is a lot of fun, and it's now out of early access, and you can purchase it on Steam. Here, take a look. Here's a little bit. Doesn't that look fun and also depressing? The one thing that's really cool about that game compared to other survival games is in other survival games, you can have like a home base. You can stop and that you got to keep moving or you die. You, you got to keep going. You got to keep going looking for, for greener pastures. So there's been an interesting game kicking around Kickstarter lately. Normally I do Kickstarter first, but we're going to talk about it second today. There's been this point and click slash action adventure game that's been kicking around Kickstarter it's not even a pun, for a little bit called Pinstripe, and it looks super beautiful. It kind of has like this French type art style, at least that's what I think of when I see it. It reminds me of uh, mimes or something like that. Anyway, this game is by a guy named Thomas Brush, who's been working on it in his spare time, I guess for four years, in early mornings, lunch breaks, late into the night. He's been spending a ton of time on it. He you know, wrote it, he coded it, he made the art for it, he did the music for it. Supposedly the music is going to be the, the highlight of it because he's like a celebrated composer for some of his other games. And it does look quite good and it actually filled its Kickstarter goal almost immediately, but I think there's still like 15 days left and he could use a little bit of extra cash to get some more cool features in there. I don't know if it looks good to you. It looks pretty interesting to me. I feel like I'm going to have to play it. Take a look. Here's a minute or so. Houses floating on the surface of Redwash Lake. The world of Pinstripe is vast, haunting, and beautiful. With your childhood pup by your side, you can discover a bizarre cast of characters and weird creatures that lead you through hell to your dog. But what really makes Pinstripe special is the music. I mean, it is kind of breathtaking. It looks really impressive. I'm probably going to check it out. You know, you guys know that I like playing demos for this show sometimes. I like playing alphas, pre-alphas, things like that. Something interesting to bring to you that you can get for free or for cheap that would be a little bit of fun. Today, I was on the Indie Games subreddit and I saw that my buddy HiSight, I'll link to him in the description below, played some of a game called Mini Law and it looks so cool. Have you ever wanted to be Robocop? Do you love the 80s? Does gratuitous violence just do it for you? Take a look at Mini Law. You patrol around this city looking for crimes. You go in and you, you murder these guys in cold blood. It's so beautiful. And then, you know, maybe you save a victim or maybe you knock out the perp. Whatever. It looks really cool. And I actually think, yeah, 
I think so. I think I'm going to do a small series on it. It, it. It's a lot of fun. Here, take a look at this. That's pretty much all I have to talk about this week. Actually, I'm not feeling that good, so this is kind of a short one. All right, that's about it. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you want to see some more stuff in the future. As always, you will be able to view all of these games, where you can buy them, where you can support them, where you can read about them. In the description below, I will link you to all that. I'll also link you to HiSight, because if it wasn't for him making his video about Mini Law, I wouldn't have seen it, and then you wouldn't have seen it, unless you're also subscribed to HiSight, then you may have seen it. It doesn't matter. All right, guys, that's about it. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one, okay? Bye.